President Bush makes his choice for the nation's top cop, picking a federal judge to replace Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez. Mr. Bush introduced nominee Michael Mukasey at a Rose Garden ceremony this morning. Mukasey served nomination. on the federal bench for 18 years, Michael presiding over thousands Mukasey. of cases, including the high-profile terror General trial of, of Sheikh States. Omar Abdel Rahman, who was accused of plotting to destroy New York City landmarks. A lengthy confirmation fight for Mukasey is not expected. In fact, Democrats aren't signaling any plans to oppose the president's nominee to head up the the Justice Department. Drunk driver slams his truck into a Pompano Beach home, killing a man inside. Police say it started when Mark Taylor got into his truck to look for his dog after arguing with his girlfriend. Well, Taylor lost control, slamming his truck into a home, killing the man inside. Taylor was driving with a revoked license. He's facing numerous charges tonight. Now to the latest on a story you saw breaking right here last night. A Fort Lauderdale teen is recovering after being hit by a car. That happened while she ran to escape a pit bull attack. Pit bulls are banned in Miami-Dade County. So tonight, some Broward County residents are asking, why isn't the breed banned there? My 33's Juwan Strader is live in Fort Lauderdale, and you have an answer, don't you, Juwan? Wow, okay. so no camping. In the woods. No camping in the woods. <laughs> or anywhere else. That's right. Thanks, right, Craig. Thank you, Craig. Well, all right, Mom, I hope you're watching because contrary to what you told me when I was a kid, <laughs> dentists now say that chewing gum can be good for you. You see, moms aren't always right. The American Dental Association says Wrigley sugar-free gum has health benefits. The ADA says its independent review of studies submitted by Wrigley confirms Orbit, Extra, and Eclipse gums have been shown to help prevent cavities, reduce plaque acid, and strengthen teeth. Wrigley found that chewing those gums for 20 minutes, three times a day after meals, increases saliva production, which helps neutralize and wash away plaque acid. Go yeah, figure. But well, there were no takers for pricey lifetime front row seats at a Miami Beach synagogue, and as my dad would say, oi, gewalt. The action <laughs> ended today with no one bidding for the $1.8 million seats at Temple Emmanuel. Rabbi Cleo Rose says he isn't surprised. He says it wasn't about the money. It was just to garner some attention for a congregation that had slumping membership. And attention they got. Yes, they did. Now, something different. He is yes. one of the hottest directors in the music business, and he was born right here in South Florida. Gail Green has produced videos for multi-platinum rap artists like 50 Cent, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Akon, one of your favorites. One of mine. And Wyclef, and he's doing it again in our area. <laughs> you have Do you to know take who Akon is? On the rap I know, I know. Tonight, CBS 4 <laughs> Shamari Stone is in Overtown on the set of his latest production. <laughs> well, back in the day when I was in school, I used to so spend a lot more time in the principal's <laughs> office than in the classroom, all right? So can you imagine my delight no. when I actually got to talk to Miss Lowe's geography class at Frank C. Martin K. Today they invited me. So I Excellent. talked to the kids on the Richmond Heights campus about my trips to Africa, showing them a story I shot in Kenya about an elephant orphanage. The sixth graders had some really impressive questions. We had a lot of fun, and as a gift to the class, I promised to adopt an elephant at the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, right all in their neighbors. name. They were so cute. That, you're going to adopt an elephant in their name? Right, but it's going to stay in Africa. I'm not right, going to bring right. it home. Yeah, there's not enough room in the place. In the, yeah. No, no, it's a small condo. It. That's yeah. a really nice thing to do. Oh, I had a great time. Yeah. They were great. Bring us up to date on what's happening in Sudan right now. Well, Elliot, first of all, the killings continue. You saw that WHO number anywhere between eight and some estimates are even as high as 10,000 people killed a month. And just last week, the Janjaweed entered a uh, refugee camp, not in Chad, which was what we saw in the video, but in Darfur and slaughtered over 20 people. Well, following the recall of millions of toys by Mattel, the Walt Disney Company has announced it will independently test toys featuring its characters. Disney will hire companies to randomly buy Disney branded toys from store shelves and test for lead paint and other safety issues such as small parts that could come loose. The test will begin in the next two weeks. Stay with us. CBS 4 News at 10 is coming right back.